This turbine guy coming back at you one more time and where am i today i am literally in the middle of nowhere once again <laughs> i've been there several times on this trip but i think i found the real nowhere and that's where we are gardenia in arizona and i'm here with my new buddy adam kokish and i just got done driving over 1700 miles <laughs> 1700 just to bring wind power to arizona well welcome to the garden of freedom the uh, the sovereign constitutional proprietarian republic of the Garden of Freedom, and uh, I bet the last three miles of dirt road that was the best part of the drive, right? Coming out here, it's not the middle of nowhere. We're in the mountains in Arizona, we, a beautiful Mediterranean climate. Not a lot of cacti out here. No. We got a we got a foot of snow this winter. I don't know if you can believe it. You know, it's 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 uh, it's it's barely April. It's it's already really nice and warm. Beautiful weather out here. I love it. Fresh mountain air. And I've been living, if you pan over, you can see all the crazy improvised buildings, the water tanks and the geodesic domes we've got going up. But finally decided I need to build a real house. So we got this cabin project going. And we you, started. Look on top, he's already got yep, two solar modules. Yep, already independent here. So we started this with a 40 foot by 16 foot prefab shed. Yep. And very customized door, porch, uh, window positioning, all of that. And it's already got an off-grid power system. And man, it, it's been revelationary for me doing home electric standard, like through a breaker box for the first time. Cause the powers that be of all the corrupt, silly little rackets, home electric, hey, you're going to hurt yourself. You're going to start yeah. a fire. And it's like, it's really not that complicated. And the safety is not that complicated, but they, they make it you know, this, this hard thing to wrap your head around or get your hands on. And it's, it's not that big a deal to build a house and say, I'm putting a breaker box. I got full conventional outlets in here. I got overhead lights with normal switches and dimmer switches yeah. and all that. And so we got the solar that I've been running stuff on out here for the RVs and, you know, fridge and other stuff, yeah. the water pump around the property. But now we're turning this into a really reliable home system. So I'm gonna have not only the solar power, but the wind power. And here, it is pretty windy in the mountains. So it's a really yeah. nice thing when we have, uh, so we have power at night, continuous oh, and You've got a great days. spot for it. There's not a lot of tall trees and you're up on a rise. So this is gonna be a perfect yes, spot to put yes. this wind turbine, so absolutely. wind turbine, solar, and a generator as back of this house is gonna be awesome. Hey folks, we actually got something figured out and now there's actual real life manual labor going on. In real life, we would have music playing. This is totally staged bullshit to get around YouTube copyright nonsense policy. Come on, Jay. Yeah, we got this space staked out. <laughs> Very excited to be breaking ground on the turbine project. Cornered off the house for the dimensions of the carport here. So it'll be right on the corner with room to accommodate one of these beautiful logs as the corner post on my big carport garage structure with a turbine actually situated to catch the wind somewhat accelerated off the roof of the carport. Hey, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more innovative DIY projects. So we dug it out kind of deep as we could get. There's a little bit of rock down there. And then we took a few rebars, tapped them into the sides around to give it a little extra stability. And instead of just topping off at ground level, we decided we'd go uh, two by up in order to give us a nice little platform and a little bit more weight. Hell yeah, it's a burly footer. I think it's ready. Let's do it. Is the post ready? Uh, as ready as it's going to be. We got to get video of this like the Iwo Jima flag raising. Hey, when it's time to start your DIY project and you need some help, check out my website at gogreenenergyonline.com or give me a call at 952-334-6400. Hey folks, Turbine Guy says... Now is the time to protect you and your family from the upcoming inflation, potential hyperinflation, and always rising electricity costs by investing your money in renewable energies. Solar power, micro wind power, battery banks. Invest in them now before it's too late. 
All right, well here we're actually ready to install the turbine on the used pole. I got a set of wires running through, we're gonna hook up. These run three phase wild AC, which means you have three different phases of electricity coming out and it's an alternating current because of the way the generator is made and it's a wild AC because the voltage fluctuates from zero up and down, it's not constant. So that's what we got coming out the bottom. Now, right now we're just making sure we got the right bolts in everywhere, no problem. But what's real cool about these is when we install it, it's only 65 pounds, we're gonna put it on. This guy here slides into the pole. What this is, is a vibration isolation system. So while it's up there and running, that is gonna attenuate the natural frequencies of the turbine during operation. I've seen it, it's a couple of big rubber pieces that are engineered. So there actually is engineering behind doing that. So while we mount it, we got six bolts, we'll put it on, mount it with the bolts. But you gotta be sure to run your ground wire from here over to one of these bolts to continue your ground because there is rubber in here and this does not connect to this electronically or mechanically. So it's real important to make sure you get that hooked up as well. Now we'll get this up there and when we do, I'll show you how it works. So I'm gonna aim it. No more. All right, well, look at this, folks. It's up. We got our footing in, plus a few rocks. That tends to happen when you're working on this. You run out of cement, what do you do? Add a couple of rocks to it. We did that. Then once we got it in, because we don't have a, such a deep hole, we had to do something to get this guy right. So I invented an automatic turbine adjusting system, as you see here. You get one side nice and tight, and then you get one branch over there and one branch over here and you can pull and adjust those tight till you get this guy straight we look in here we got a bubble this way on top we'll put it right there bubble in the middle bubble in the middle just what we're looking for so there you have it folks installing a 300 watt wind turbine just ain't that hard it's a pole a flange a turbine a wire some concrete a hole and a whole bunch of friends with beer